Sound deactivated. Welcome home, Marcus. I'm getting out of the hospital tomorrow. They told me that you stayed with me while I was asleep. I am... Um, I'm really sorry about everything that happened. I'm gonna stop all that shit. Uh, it messes me up. It, it, it turns me into somebody I hate. Hey, I, I'd like to come by and, and, and see you tomorrow, if that's alright with you. I... I just want to let you know... I'm proud to be your son. Who are you? How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Please. I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. Marcus, I was hoping you'd come. I missed you so much, girl. You don't know how much I missed you. What's wrong, Marcus? I'm completely lost, Carl. The whole world's falling apart around me. I try to do the right thing. I look for answers. I... Instead, I just find more doubts and more uncertainty. The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a damned. <sighs> Humans hate us. They want to destroy us because we refuse to be their slaves anymore. I'm not going to stand around and wait for them to slaughter my people. You used to be so calm and thoughtful. Now all I see is anger. take over. I just want freedom for my people, and I guess I need to decide what price I'm willing to pay for it. You're my son, Marcus. Our blood isn't the same color. 
But I know part of me is in you. When the world falls into darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Face the abyss, but don't let it consume you. The previous Connor failed its mission. You're going to replace it. You know what you have to do, don't you? Destroy the leader of the Deviants. Go, Connor. Don't disappoint me. I needed to see you, Lieutenant. In spite of all of our differences, I'm glad I had the chance to meet you. I was worried about you, Lieutenant. I came by to see if you're all right. You should stop looking at that photo, Lieutenant. Nothing can change the past. But you can learn to live again. For yourself. And for Cole. You know, every time you died and came back, made me think of Cole. Give anything to hold him again. Don't come back. Hank, I... Now leave me alone. Go on, complete your mission, since that's all you care about. Ah. Get out of here! They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants. 
So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. The army built five different camps in the Detroit area. They're building more all across the country. They're preparing for a genocide. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I'm with you, Marcus. Wherever you go, I go. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see her people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time is come. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Now, if they want war, they'll get it. We are going to fight for our freedom 
and we will succeed or die. Are you ready to follow me?